I've been working on the kitchen for the last four days now and this is the first day that I can say with confidence that at least I can start cooking a few things in here. It's not completely done, it's not even close to being done. But at least now I can use the stove, like the stove has been replaced and as you can see it's 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 manageable. It is. So the thing that I made today for my mom uh, was the simplest, easiest, but possibly tastiest low carb keto recipe that there is when you have uh, a few things at hand and it's low carb meatballs you need very few things for that as you can see so minced beef and grated uh, parmesan or hard cheese anyway i used some bits of powdered garlic to give it a bit of a kick salt and two eggs two eggs for alpha kilo so consider that so now let's make this happen so alpha kilo, three eggs uh, and like 50 grams of grated parmesan gave us 36 meatballs. The most amazing things about these meatballs is that they are literally carb free. There is not one gram of carbs inside. After half an hour or so, your meatballs will be ready and cheesy. And a big success because my mom liked them very much. And again, zero carbs, no carbs in sight whatsoever. So if you have some minced beef or pork or anything really, anything mince, mince mix, uh, some grated uh, cheese, some spices in general. I, I like very much garlic powder, but anything will do. Couple of eggs and there you go, you're gonna be happy. Because they're a lot, the 36, and I know my mom, they'll be rationed, so they'll go into Tupperware. And if you were wondering the reason why I have to specify that these are low-carb meatballs, fair enough if you've never thought of it, but basically regular meatballs usually also have breadcrumbs or flour or things like that. So to avoid that, you replace it with grated cheese, more and more and more grated cheese, and that's how you go for zero-carbs meatballs. Come on, let's be honest, this looks like a sort of regular kitchen, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, down there you can you can have a glimpse of the fact that it's not exactly a normal kitchen, but we're getting there, come on, come on, look at that. Yeah, nothing in the sink, and everything is there waiting to just dry, and, and see, see, I'll have to get rid of this because it's a dishwasher, but my mom forgot some dishes in it for like a year so uh, it needs to go but at least now we know that and now I'm making her some tea so that she can digest properly it's very classic and common in Italy to have tea and you know what the good thing about a hoarding mom is that that little pot, pot there actually I remember it from when I was three or four years old so tiny few things they are actually good memories what my mom doesn't quite accept is that memories don't work in a hoarding way. You are your own best memory because you were there throughout all those moments you want to remember. So you don't need the stuff to remember that.